Hi everyone, I'm kind of busy, so it's going to be a quick one this week. Let's go. Bonjour tout le monde and welcome to Turn Back the Clock with Stock number, is this 11 or 10? Whichever one it is. October 25th, 1415, Henry V of England defeats the French at the Battle of Agincourt. I've put a link in the description of a particular piece of music. I've linked to it before. I hope you listen to it. If not then, listen to it now. In 1836, Egypt gives France the obelisk that now stands at the Place de la Concorde, which is the former place of the guillotine during the French Revolution. On October 26, 1881, Louis Pasteur, and we know him from the pasteurized milk that we drink, he treats the first human with a rabies virus. Now, vaccinations were starting to become popular at this time. We had Marie Curie and Louis Pasteur, and because of them we had a lot of advancements in modern day medicine. On October 27th, two very important things happened. In 1806, Napoleon marches into Berlin. Now this is part of his procession east that would eventually take him into Russia and then he would turn around and come back. But also, more importantly, in 1970, a certain French teacher named Eric Stockberger was born. On October 28th, in 1962, there was a referendum for universal suffrage in France, and that passed. So October 29th, 1882, we had the birth of Jean Giroudeau. Now, Giroudeau, he was one of the most important and influential French authors, especially during the, the interwar period between World War I and World War II. His writings dealt a lot with man and women, the relationship between men and women, and also the relationship between man and an unattainable goal. October 30th, 1990, the two sides of the channel are connected. This was by a very tiny little hole, but it was that first, first connection that opened up this wonderful method of travel. October 31st, 1889, a certain Dr. Perrier and some backers, they buy a particular spring in France and they start to bottle the water, which we now call Perrier. And he spent about $23,000 for it. So that was a very quick turn back the clock with stock. Next week, I have something very special planned. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you then. A bientôt. Yay!